I'm delighted to be able to talk on the uh, capsule of plaquette and repair. I, I wrote the chapter 17 in the book, and uh, I'm happy to share it with you and uh, the, uh, the delegates of the, the Vira Global. Um, it's, uh, as we all know, we have we deal with uh, two more main uh, compartments in the hip, the central compartment and the peripheral compartment. And uh, the capsule surrounding the hip is in the uh, peripheral compartment. Uh, we uh, we have uh, the capsule of the hip consists of uh, like a ligamental fiber structure with uh, three identified external ligaments, and they are directed uh, longitudinally as well as we have uh, internal fibers going more circumferentially, and uh, we have the uh, the three distinct uh, uh, ligaments, and the the larger one, the iliofemoral ligament, is in front of the hip, and is the strongest uh, ligament, and then we have more medial, the, <clears throat> the pubo femoral ligament. And then the, in the back <clears throat> on the posterior capsule, we have the ischio femoral ligament as part of the uh, uh, posterior capsule. And the mid portion of the capsule is uh, thickest uh, uh, upwards and, and superiorly. And, and this re uh, region represents the um, uh, ilio femoral ligament. And it is also the site where we uh, perform the, uh, the interportal capsulotomy during hip arthroscopy. So the uh, capsulotomy runs uh, along the rim. And is the uh, capsule important in hypertroscopy? Yes, in young patients, in women who tend to show greater hyperlaxity, uh, also in patients with generalized or localized hyperlaxity, and in patients with uh, borderline dysplasia, and patients who come uh, uh, easily distracted uh, during surgery. And also with the repetitive microtrauma of the hip, for example, ballet dancers and martial arts athletes. And if you, of course, perform a large T-cut capsulotomy. Uh, there's a uh, biomechanical study out there from Abrams uh, from 2015, where they investigate different capsulotomies and found that the larger the capsulotomy, the greater the degree of hip rotation. And hip capsulotomy and the, the unrepaired T-type results in the greatest degree of uh, rotation. Um, no surprise there. So in the early years when I started uh, doing hip atroscopy, and that's 20 years ago, it was believed that the capsule healed all the time. But uh, nowadays we know from time and experience that uh, in some patients it doesn't heal. And that in some patients uh, they seem to have problems with uh, micro instability and even gross instability. And in few rare cases, even outright hip dislocations described in literature as you see here. So micro instability is probably much more common than you were previously, than we previously, previously have believed. And here we have a, a diagram of a T-cut uh, capsulotomy in open surgery. And here is an uh, uh, interportal uh, cut, uh, cut. And uh, I'll, I'll try to show you the, um, my technique for uh, suture in the capsule. And it's important as you do the capsulotomy about eight to 10 millimeters from the rim and from the labrum so that you have enough tissue on the, at the tabular side and do not excise too much tissue. Here you have the, uh, the, the beaver blade coming in. You have the labrum on the left and it's about eight to 10 millimeters away from the rim. So make the capsule, uh, make the, uh, don't take too much uh, tissue away. And I'll show the in simple steps. You place the camera in the mid anterior pole. I have the patient in supine. Here you have a picture of the, the camera in the front and you have a portal at the entrolateral uh, portal down below. And then I place my first capsule suture in the anterolateral capsule and secure with a clamp on the outside. Here you have the, uh, the camera from looking down and you, then you change portals and release traction. And then I finish my osteochondroplasty in the peripheral compartment. Uh, here's the under osteochondroplasty. And then I place a second ca uh, capsular suture in the front, in the front and close the uh, anterior capsule uh, at the end of the procedure. Here you have the, uh, the front. And then I remove the camera and close the, uh, the first suture I, I placed, which was hanging outside. And here's my uh, video of the uh, procedure. So I, I use a number two vicral suture. And it's an interportal cut. I have the hip in full extension and in traction. The camera is at the mid anterior portal. I'm using a uh, Acropath Direct for this procedure. You can use any shoot fiber you like. Here's looking from 
uh, in the front, looking down at the 12 o'clock position, I've done all the label repair. Uh, all the intra-articular uh, stuff has been done. And here's the suture coming in with the, uh, with the, with the suture parser. I pass it through the at the tabular portion of the uh, capsule. And then uh, I just move the suture a little bit further in so that uh, it's easier to grab. And sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's a little bit more difficult. Um, so it's, uh, sometimes you have to pull on the, uh, the suture from the outside, as I'm, I'll be doing in a short while. Just pulling on it outside, so I bring it to the, the suture parser, grab it, and pull it outside. So it's a it's a double uh, stranded, it's a loop suture. You can see when I'm uh, tugging it on it from the outside, I can also hold the capsule uh, away from the uh, the acetabular rim. This is the view, the view from the outside. It's a long suture. It's a it's a, a meter and twenty. So I put a, a, a piano or a clamp on it and let, leave it hanging. And then I change portal so that the camera goes into the anterolateral portal in, in order to in, be able to be, uh, go into the peripheral compartment. I, I change the camera uh, portal. Now we're looking from uh, the anterolateral towards the mid anterior portal. I've finished all the uh, label repair and cartilage repair. And then I finish the surgery in both compartments, do the uh, osteochondroplasty. And then at the end of the procedure, I flex the hip into about 45 degrees, place um, a chain rod in the front. Uh, then we come in with a half pipe. And then again, using a suture parser and putting in the uh, number two micro in the front. And then you can uh, shoot you the, uh, the anterior part of the capsule. Um, and here I'm delivering in the proximal portion of the uh, uh, capsule, close to, to the rim, grabbing the suture and bringing it down towards the neck. You see the osteochondral party down below. And then you grab the distal uh, portion of the, uh, the capsulotomy and the capsule. Uh, uh, and then you grab the suture through the, that power portion of the capsule and then bringing it outside. And then you can see when you, when you pull on it, you close the anterior capsule. And uh, in, the, in the background, you can see a part of the uh, psoas tendon crossing across the rim. And then to end up the, uh, the suture, you have to do uh, uh, some sort of uh, sliding knot. And I'm using the uh, so-called Quebec uh, city slider, uh, popularized by Dr. Philippon in, uh, in Dale. It's a, a basically a, a double loop where you bring one of the strands of the suture uh, through, and then you pass down the uh, the suture in, onto the uh, the capsule by tugging on uh, both strands. So you just pull it down, and then you slide two or three half hitches down with the uh, with the um, uh, uh, not part, not tying instrument. And then at, at the, the very end of the procedure, I just uh, pull out the camera, extend the hip. Uh, and then I have the, the first suture I, I passed, I'll do the, uh, the Quebec uh, city slider uh, on this uh, part as well. I know that the shooter is in the capsule because I, I, I put it there. And then just do uh, the same thing, uh, sliding down the the, um, the Quebec City Slider and, and, and tying a, a couple of parts, half hitches on top of it, sliding it down with the nut pusher. So that's basically my technique for shooting the capsule. You can also do uh, capsule uh, uh, tightening with the overlap. And uh, I would again add my thanks for be, being able to do the, uh, the chapter in this book. It's, it's been a great pleasure to work with that. Okay. Thank you.